Rock and roll, baby. Love it. Love some Foo Fighters in the morning. All right, it's 8.15 right now. Time to check in on the latest buzz in the entertainment world. Yeah, we're joined by Liz from 105.1 The Buzz. Good morning, Liz. Morning. All right, so Dave Grohl, the one and only, opened up about being hearing impaired for the last 20 years, which if you think about it, isn't really surprising. That's, yeah, but uh, also not great for his job. Yeah, well, probably caused by his job. Yeah. Liz, tell us more. I had no idea that he was hearing impaired, but he opened up and did an interview and said for at least the last two decades, he has had issues with his hearing. And through the pandemic, it was especially difficult because he does a lot of lip reading. And when people were wearing masks, he couldn't always tell what they were trying to say to him. And then they, you know, inquired a little bit further in the interview about, you know, when he's on stage. And apparently he doesn't wear the in-ears, like the speakers that you wear in your ears. Oh. He just goes without them because he said when he tries to do it the other way, he almost gets like lost on the stage space on where the drummer is and the guitar player and where everybody's located. And so just to be able to better perform, he just goes without them. Yikes. I mean, I, I get it. But then at the same time, you have to wonder, like, is that making some of the hearing loss worse? You know? Well, I mean, he was a drummer for so long, probably yeah. still plays. I can imagine maybe in your younger years, you're like, I don't need in ears. And so you just blast away. Ugh. I mean, it hasn't hurt his performance ha hasn't put a damper on his career at least yeah i know even when i go to a concert though even if it's a more mellow one like a john mayer or a justin bieber i always wear earplugs because it's too loud for me so imagine not only the sound of the music on the stage by the speakers being so loud but the crowd cheering in general too right. that's also got to be a lot of noise coming at you right right yeah i i've started wearing earplugs i didn't in my younger years and uh yeah, I've, I have since thought about it, you know, like, ah, you know, it's just not worth it. It's, it's better to put some earplugs in, be safe. My parents worked at a factory when I was a kid, so they were very adamant about that. They're Air like, protection. you will wear earplugs, mm. you will make sure that you get to keep your hearing. And so I've always been very, very cautious about that. Yeah, I was always told as a kid, turn your headphones down. If I, my parents, you know, if I can hear your music, if I can hear it and you're the one wearing the headphones, then it's too loud, turn it down. That I was. Feel <laughs> Like my parents never said that. Was I like not loved? And I listened to my car radio like as loud as it can possibly go. <laughs> I don't know. It's cathartic. It's rock and roll, baby. I guess. Cathartic. I mean, like, I even say that bit. to my five-year-old son Theo when he's watching yeah. Peppa Pig. Though I'm like, if I can hear Peppa, you need to turn that right. volume if down. If I can hear it, turn <laughs> it down. That's the rule. Yeah. But you know, thanks, mom and dad, because I can still I can still hear. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see. But uh, you know, good good of him to talk about it. Okay. So. Usher uh, welcomed a newborn son. Congrats to him. Got a baby boy. I don't, I don't quite understand this celebration, though. He brought him into the world by playing 50 Cent in the club, which <laughs> seems very bizarre to me. But he was also doing an interview and said it's because of the line, the it's your birthday, we're going to party like it's your birthday. <laughs> OK. I hope they left the Bacardi part out because that would get a little a little scandalous. Yeah, there's a lot uh, but, of club activities in that song that are too much for an yeah. infant. <laughs> Yeah, but he said he had the whole thing planned out because when his last child was born, he only had one song on his phone that he kept playing on repeat over and over again. And the people that were in the delivery room were like, uh, can we can we change this song up? But it was very important that they heard music, you know, as they came into the world. And he said this time he had a playlist, he had everything ready. But I have to question how good his playlist was if 50 Cent was the winner. <laughs> I don't know. I would have thought that it would have been like Usher's greatest hits, but maybe not. That's a little, <laughs> maybe a little much to be playing daddy's greatest hits as you're entering the world. Sure, I'm sure he's going to hear plenty. That's true. That's that, true. And it would be awkward because then Usher would take a shirt off in the delivery room and then <laughs> rain would fall from the sky. Like, right. you can't play an Usher song without having that going into it. Right. He's like, I just need an area and a chair. If that's cool. They're like, sir, this is a delivery room. <laughs> we don't have time for this right now. No, that, that's fun, though. And, and congrats, congrats to him and, and his new baby boy. And maybe, maybe he was playing the radio edit of the song. Who knows? Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Liz. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, friends. And again, you can listen to Liz and Mike every weekday morning on 105.1 The Buzz.